You all are the glory of the Lord. I love you all so, 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 so very much. And I trust you all have been having a wonderful day. Amen. <laughs> you know, I posted a video uh, earlier on, and I believe upon posting the video, the Lord was helping me to understand that there was more that I needed to actually say. So hence the reason why I had to put down the video because I wanted to record it in fullness. <laughs> I don't want to be lazy about it. I was looking for, I was trying to basically just do a short and leave it out there. But the Lord was like, no, no, I need you to do a full video. And I'm like, okay, yes, Lord, I hear you clearly because I know that somebody basically needs um, this word in very in much totality amen so i believe that um you know i was sharing uh, you know i basically posted in the community uh, section um where i was helping majority of us to understand that a lot of us we have been going through warfare you know it's been it's been just one thing after the other and it's been breaking out and we've been wondering you know where is all of this manifesting from what is happening lord help me to understand <laughs> in jesus name <laughs> But the truth about it is a lot of you, you're coming into the hour of what? Entering into what the Father has already promised you. And that is the reason for the warfare. And sometimes, you know, a lot of us, like I've always shared with us, that we can get a little bit comfortable. <laughs> yeah, you get that. Yeah, 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 yeah. We can all we can get we can get a little bit comfortable, especially when it comes to the things of God. Yes, because let's be honest. You know, if your boss tells you to do something, you're doing it very quickly. If your parents, your husband, you know, those around you are asking you to do things, you might want to you know kind of do it very quickly. But when God is asking you to do something, <laughs> you want to take your time. Can you see that dimension? You want to take your time. And this is the reason why, you know, the father basically allows some storms. You know, I believe I've shared a, a prophetic word here before. Uh, and I was talking about, you know, your warfare is only a test. And in summary, what I was basically sharing there is the example of an eagle. Now, I want you to look at storms with eagles and with other birds. You know, there are some birds when the storm is coming and begins to, you know, come towards whatever it is that is coming towards. A lot of birds are flapping away and basically trying to hide under the, under the tree or they're trying to hide in a tree or they're trying to hide in a cave somewhere. But not so with the eagle because eagles they love storms <laughs> do you see so while other birds are flapping their way trying to get into where they need to be in it's a place where the eagle is actually looking for the storm to soar above it because that is the position of rest for the eagle now i want you to look at it this way jesus i'm not saying you're an eagle no not at all but look at our Lord and our Savior. When the storm came, what happened? He was sleeping. So majority of the time, when the storm is coming, the Father is helping you to understand that, hey, I just need you to be in a posture of rest. Why? Because the storm has come to teach you something. So we can easily, yes, begin to pray away the storm. And the Father is like, hey, 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 hey. Don't use what I'm trying to use to basically teach you something. Don't, don't, don't pray it away. No, no, no. Don't pray it away because we've got something to do in the storm. <laughs> do you see that in itself? Because I want you to understand that the storm, yes, it brings promotion. The storm is a time of testings. Yes, because it helps you to go through tests. And the storm also, you know, it's a place where it leads you into graduation to bring out maturity in you. Can you see the very purpose of the storm? Yes, because you have to understand the storm has come to basically lift you higher, just in the same way like an eagle to soar higher. Can you see that? So a lot of times you might be praying, Father, I don't like this storm. Father, I don't want this storm. But eventually it's what is using to get you to where you need to what? Where you need to be. <laughs> Do you see? Can I give you an example? The Bible tells us in the book of Acts, they're about yeah remember our apostle paul you know when he was still saul the bible says what persecution broke out <laughs> they were they were all relaxing in jerusalem they were doing what they were supposed to do i believe you know and it was a place where you know they got they got a 
can be a little bit, you know, we're in Jerusalem, yeah, we're, we're just here, we're doing our own thing. But when persecution broke out, what happened? <laughs> the word of God spread to all other countries. So you can see how the Lord was using persecution to what? To basically further the gospel. So is it the persecution trying to get you to be better at your job? The persecution trying to basically get you to be what? Much better at your career. The persecution to be what? To be able to love, you know, to love properly. The persecution comes to be able to be merciful. The persecution comes to be discerning at the same time. So you can see why the storm comes because it comes to refine. The Bible declares, according to 1 Peter 1, 67, it says, In all this you greatly rejoice, though now for a little while you may have had to suffer grief in all kinds of trials. These have come so that the proven genuineness of your faith of greater worth than gold, which perishes, even though refined by fire, may result in praise, glory, honor, when Jesus Christ is revealed. Do you see what that scripture is saying? It says, In this you greatly rejoice. So that means in the midst of the storm, you're rejoicing. So even though now for a little while you had to go through the storm, it says this have come to prove the what? The genuineness of your faith. Because sometimes, you know, when the Lord gives you something to do, it's a place where because of the storm, you might like, Lord, <laughs> I'm out of here. I, I don't, I don't think I can handle this anymore. You know, <laughs> you know, Lord, go and give the person your message yourself. Lord, go and do this. You know, I, I'm, 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 give it to somebody else. I, I'm not bothered with it. But no, that is not the posture you took. <laughs> do you see that? Because in the midst of the storm, you still continue to do better at a job. In the midst of the slander, in the midst of the mockery, in the midst of the persecution, in, in the midst of all that. That came against you you still continue to what to perceive to persevere do you see the beauty of why the storm came it is to refine your what your faith now can we honor wisdom and help you to understand right so for majority of the people i believe either you are you know you're in school for um, you know i want to use the dimension of school you know college university and whatever school it is that you're in I want you to look at it this way. For those who have been in university, there is. Now, I remember when I was there, you know, the first year, the foundation year was absolutely, it was easy, it was breeze. You know, the second, the first year was absolutely good too. You know, there was not much work to be done, just what was given and then continuing. The second year was slightly okay. It was a bit tough, but it was okay. You know, it was still, it was still something we could get through. <laughs> you see that dimension? So the first year, good. The second year, good. Now the third year, wow. The third year was absolutely, absolutely <laughs> something to write home about. It was it was amazing because in the first year, you know, it started off easy, easy, easy. Then towards the end of the what first semester, it was a place assignment here, coursework here, assignment here. In the midst of that, in itself, you know, the final the final year project was given where you had to write what an introduction to the dissertation in itself. Now you have to go, you have to present it. You know, in the midst of it, you're basically going to the library trying to finish your course. Now everything was just happening at once and you're like lord help me out of this because you know me I, I just want to be very you know just just to be honest about it because in my final year i was ready to give up you know i was i was like no i, I can't do this anymore because it's just too much you know it was just it was just way too much and i thought to myself i'm just gonna leave it till next year why don't I just leave it to next year? Because then, you know, I would have had my mind in the right place. I would have had everything in the right place. And I went to meet the project supervisor who was my uh, tutor at that moment in time. And he said, why do you want to basically, you know, why do you want to postpone it till next year? So why don't you just do what you have to do? Do it once and for all. And next year you can just relax, you know, in looking for a job. And I went and I pondered on it. And amazingly, God surrounded me with, you know, one or two people who were basically very encouraging. And it made me to persevere through it all and i'm glad that i basically walked in that council to finish because it was not easy but it pushed me to a level that i never thought i would have been able to get to isn't that the same with the storm look at your job for example so much is demanded of you but look at the best you continue to put in right through it and now look at where you are today you're much stronger you can persevere even much more now you're able to what you're able to endure the process even though it seems hard now look at what they continue to what to manifest over your life and how you continue to sail right through it isn't it just a beautiful journey aren't you glad for the storm in itself
Amen. So you can see that's the dimension of it in itself. So now look at when the graduation happened. The graduation happened. Well, I didn't attend my graduation. No, not at all. But I believe it was a was an amazing moment for people who basically attended that in itself. Do you see that, you know, the beauty of it? To God be the glory. So most majority of the time, the storm comes to prove the genuineness. Are you still able to continue regardless? Because the Lord is not actually trying to punish you. No, not at all. Because he doesn't want you to get comfortable. That is the reason why he had to stand, send what? The storm. Now, let's look at the book of Judges. The Bible declares, it says here in Judges 2, 20 to 23. Therefore, the Lord was very angry with Israel and said, because this nation has violated the covenant I ordained for their ancestors and have not listened to me, I will no longer drive out before them any of the nations Joshua left when he died. I will use them to test Israel and see whether they will keep the way of the Lord and walk in it as their ancestors did. The Lord had allowed those nations to remain. He did not drive them out at once by giving them into the hands of Joshua. So you can see that in the book of Judges chapter 2, it was disobedience that allowed the Lord not to remove all the enemies of Israel all at once. No, because you know why? He knows the end from the beginning. So he left a little bit of something there. <laughs> yeah, I know these people, they're going to disobey at one point. So let me not remove them because, you know, by the time I unleash, you know, those that I left behind, they'll be quick to do what I've commanded them to do. And that is the love of the Father. Isn't it amazing? Now, you see that person who can, who you think is annoying at your place of work and you've been trying to get readings of that person like, hey, I just want to be in another department. But the Lord is like, nah, I left them there. <laughs> and the reason why I left them there is because you have to understand if I didn't leave them there, you can get relaxed so easily. If I didn't leave them there, you can get too comfortable. If I didn't leave them there, you can get so, you know, so like confident in what it is that you're doing and not dependent on me. Do you see? So I had to leave them there so that every time they basically begin to act up you call out to me and then i know that what i will be there for you even before you call isn't it amazing the wisdom of god yes it is so this is the dimension that the lord has been working majority of you in because all through the what all that has been happening to you the truth of it is he has been looking for your heart posture how would you respond to the situations how would you manifest that which is happening around you how would you walk in it in yourself how would you react to how the person is basically treating you how would you respond to how they basically slandered you how would you for you know would you forgive them if they spoke all of these things against you no you would i'm sure you would respond in the very manner that the Lord has commanded you in love, with compassion, in faithfulness, with, with absolute joy. And that is how you have been. Majority of you, you have been absolutely good in what the Father has been calling you to do. Now, I'm speaking to those who have been obedient, that is. So majority of you, the reason for the warfare is not because you've done anything wrong. No, not at all. For some of you, it's because of that. And for some of you, it's because you haven't done anything wrong. And the truth about it is, the Lord was only using it because he needs to get you to where you need to be. Do you know what the Bible declares? Because for some of you, you have to, uh, 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 the, the, the Lord is basically helping you to understand that in the book of Mark, he says, I will bless you in the midst, what? Of persecution. <laughs> Can you see that? He blesses you. He says, yeah, you will receive the blessing, <laughs> but it comes with persecution. Do you see? So even when you're being persecuted, when the storm comes, you have to understand that the reason why it came was because the Lord is ready to bless some of you. Can you see that in itself? Yes, he's ready to bless some of you. Now look at what the Bible declares in the book of Mark chapter 10 verse 30. It says, but ye shall receive an hundredfold now in this time, houses, brethren, and sisters, and mothers, and children, and lands with persecutions and in the world to come eternal life so you're ripping in both dimensions you're ripping houses brethren sisters mothers and children lands with persecutions and in the world to come eternal life so you can see you're not just receiving here you're receiving also in what in eternal life isn't that amazing the very wisdom of god
So some of you, you might have been praying this away, and the Lord is like, ah, 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 ah. I'm just using that to what? To basically what? <laughs> to to basically to basically bring blessings into your life. So I want to basically, I just use this to encourage you because majority of you, yeah, you passed the test. Yeah, you passed the test. For some of you, the testing period is over. Yeah, the testing period is over because the Bible declares that it was after 40 days, you know, it was, you know, <laughs> the, the flood basically stopped with Noah. It was basically raining for 40 days and then it came to an end. So for some of you in this hour, your what? Your warfare has come to an end. <laughs> for this season, it has. So, and the reason why it has is because, yes, you have endured, you have gone through what he called you to do, you have manifested that in glory, and the Lord is truly pleased with you. Amen? Yes, he is. He's truly pleased with you. <laughs> because I'm reminded you know recently because it, it, you know it was just something that basically uh, on the journey of my of my uh, you know that I've walked in. There was somebody who was around me, you know, and the person they used to say to me, ah, you know, I'm not that tall. They're five foot something, five foot something. I'm like, well, the Lord bless you. So it was a place where, you know, back in school, uh, uh, you know, there was somebody that I met. We're not dating. It was just a you know, friendship kind of thing. <laughs> you know, it was, I was still, I was still, I was in Christ, but I was in the world at the same time. So it was, so it was a place where, you know, the person, we, we went our separate ways, but we didn't go our separate ways in a norm you know it was with argument and things like that and eventually trying to resolve that you know we just went our ways and the person i didn't realize went and started doing all manners of witchcraft so the person around me then you know got uh, you know the very uh, a word from the lord that this person is speaking things about you and i'm like yeah thank you so very much because that was all about that was in school do you see that it was all about when i was still in school so upon getting that information because i had already known what happened? You know, the Lord began to show me that the person, you know, the way the, the person was probably in in the marine kingdom and things like that, you know, and by holding hands, basically you get married to people like that. You know, it's, it was just all manner of things. But what happened? The whole essence of the story is this. I reached out to the person and basically blessed the person. Do you see? Because understanding what they had done, it was blessed. Yeah, yeah I was upset, <laughs> but I just reached out and, and I blessed the person for what they did and I just moved on. But the Lord said the person would not respond. So don't worry about it. And I agree to the Lord. So now you can see, because that is what majority of you have been what going through. Because majority of you, that is how you have been responding. You have not been repaying evil with evil. No, not at all. You have been repaying all the evils with love. Majority of you, you knew who was attacking you. You knew who was mocking you. You knew who was slandering you. You knew who was coming against you. You knew who was doing all of these things. Can you see that dimension? But the Lord in his infinite mercy, is pleased on how you continue to what to basically manifest his love through it all because they expected you to manifest a dimension of anger you know it's okay to be angry but it says in your anger do not sin so you did not sin in your anger no you didn't you basically loved if you bless the person you pray for the person and for some of you the lord is absolutely pleased with you Yes, he is. He's pleased with you. And for majority of you is why I want to share this word. Congratulations to you because you passed the test. Yes, you made decisions in this hour that pleased the Lord. Yes, you made decisions. Even when the enemy came in like a flood, you still decided to stand upon the word of God and you did everything in the way the word basically instructed you to move in. You blessed those who cursed you. You prayed for those who despised fully used you you know for those that you know they didn't understand what the lord was doing with you they walked away from you but you blessed them anyway can you see that dimension and when the lord brought people to you you love them you prayed for them for some people you know even sometimes people might say hey this person doesn't deserve compassion but that was not the way with you you showed compassion anyway because why that is the manifestation of the spirit of christ that is in you at work in you to manifest his glory revealed upon creation 
humiliation for majority of you when they came against you you took the way of humility you humbled yourself before the lord for some of you you stood firm and allowed the lord to fight for you yes that is what you have been doing as they have been coming you know it's been like non-stop but you have taken the posture of love and of humility and you did not allow yourself to go before the lord but allowing the lord to go before you and with you and for that reason that is why he's pleased with majority of you he's pleased with your work he's pleased with your worship he's pleased with your praise he's pleased with your prayer he's pleased with your faith he's pleased with your standing firm he's pleased with your being still he's pleased with allowing him to do what you could not do for yourself and for that reason can i basically congratulate you because today you graduated you passed the test yes you did every test that he has placed before you since the beginning of this month you have been passing them one after the other the decision that you have made or the decisions you made you could have made other decisions but you rather stayed on the word of god you allowed holy ghost to guide you and for that reason this is where you begin to understand his faithfulness in your life because now you are qualified for the rewards that he wants to give you because the testing through the storm was to prepare your heart for what he wants to give you because there are many people that were coming to you but the lord was looking at how you will look after the few and you did it with a heart of absolute love with diligence you moved right into it and you did not back down you kept on going and for that reason the father congratulates you today because you you passed the test yes you did you passed the test you passed the test and i want to help you to understand this is the very dimension of why the father has been what because sometimes you might look at it like father is like why are you silent why have you been so quiet in my life you know i've been praying i cannot hear you i've been worshiping all i can get is this this here this this that you know a few bits and bits of words father you know just like jesus father father why have you forsaken me but he did not forsake you because you were in the test do you know the bible declares <laughs> that when jesus said that a lot of people will say ah jesus god forsook him on that day no no i bless you with mercy concerning that if god did not forsake him he was going through a test at that moment in time he was going through what he was called to do and the father was with him all the way through that is why the veil torn that was why there was earthquake that was why the clouds covered can you see the prayer presence of the father all manifested right in there and that is how he has been with you because you know when you're writing an exam in an examination hall it's always quiet isn't it because an examination is going on the invigilator never says a thing those who are supervising never says a thing but until after the test is over now everybody now begins to conversate so this is where you begin to understand your resurrection hour because the bible declares in the book of mark chapter one and it says and when jesus came out of the wilderness he says the angel angels of the Lord they came and attended to him so now you have come out because you have graduated now you have come out because you passed the test now you have come out because you have been promoted this is your promotion this is your graduation and he's pleased with you now he can see that you are absolutely worthy of the rewards that is about to bless you with amen isn't that a beautiful <laughs> dimension in the Father? Yes, you pass the test. To God be the glory because that is who you have always been. Amen. To God be the glory. I, you know, I, I, I just want to rejoice with you all. You know, and I love the Father for each and every one of you at the same time. You know, you all are amazing. You all are glorious. You all are wonderful. And I just want to honor the Father for each and what and every one of you. Amen. To God be the glory. I love you all and I honor you all because you are the blessedness of the one who called you right from the very beginning. In Jesus' mighty name, amen and amen. I want you to stay blessed. You know, uh, congratulations again. <laughs> I love you so very much. Yes, yeah, so for this season, yeah. So for this season, yep, you you finished. You basically, you passed the test. <laughs> you done what you need to do. And I thank God for you. So yeah, until the next se season that you're entering into, there will be many more tests to come. But for this episode, the Lord is basically pleased with you. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. I love you. Stay blessed because you're the blessedness of the Father in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. God bless you.